This Level Best Grading Products instructional video covers the steps needed for setting up to grade a sloped pad using laser technology. It will demonstrate how to calculate your percentage of slope and the alignment of the laser beacon. I'm Kenneth Fish with Ozark Laser and I'm representing Level Best Grading Products. Today we're going to demonstrate how to set up either a single or dual slope job site. First thing you'll want to do is to find a suitable place on your job site to set your legs up. You'll need to have a good line of sight for where your machine will be working, free of obstructions from other equipment or buildings. Before we begin, we need to recognize the difference between a positive and a negative slope value. If you have, say for instance, two points on your job site, point A and point B. If you're standing on point A, facing directly to point B, if the elevation of point B is higher than the elevation of point A, that would be a positive slope value. If the elevation of point B is lower in elevation than point A, that is a negative slope value. If you are standing perpendicular to your A and B points, left of you would be point A, right of you would be point B. If point B is lower in elevation than point A, that is a negative slope. If it is higher in elevation than point A, that is a positive slope value. So recognizing these differences and setting up your laser transmitter is very important to getting the correct slope percentage and the correct slope value. In some instances, the job site will call out to a certain specification for a certain either single or dual slope value. We will take the value of whatever that is and we will dial it into our laser transmitter. In order to use your laser transmitter to measure the existing slope, to see what the slope value is according to the job site existing terrain, I'll demonstrate how to do that with a simple procedure using a couple of hubs, a hammer, some paint, and a tape reel. To keep it simple, we will pound two hubs in and we will be perpendicular to our laser transmitter. We'll have point A close to our tripod, and then point B, we will pull a tape exactly 100 feet to keep it easy from point A. We'll use our slope formula of rise divided by run times 100 to get our percentage of slope in order to dial into our laser transmitter. In order to use your laser transmitter to measure the existing slope, what we'll first do is we'll take our laser receiver on our grade rod and we'll start closest to the laser transmitter. The laser transmitter will need to be set up at zero slope. We want a flat level beam in order to measure the sloping distance that's under us. So using our grade rod and laser receiver, we'll set on our first hub and we will move the laser receiver on the grade rod until we have an on-grade target reading. Once we've achieved this, we mark our grade rod and then we can adjust the grade stick on the other hub, either up or down until it hits the transmitter. The distance that the grade rod moves or the difference between the two marks you make, whichever way works, is going to be your rise. This is the number you will divide by the run, which we have 100 feet distance between the two. Once we have measured up the percentage of slope on the existing terrain and achieved the value, we will take the value of whatever that is in percent of slope and we will dial it into our laser transmitter, making sure that if it's a positive number that we are going the appropriate direction on the transmitter. If it is a negative number, we need to be for sure that our laser is set up correctly, X and Y axis, and we are adjusting in the correct direction. Once we have the laser dialed in, it is leveled out, and transmitting, we could simply verify by going half the distance between point A and point B, that value should be exactly half of the rise. So if your rise was say six inches, halfway between your rise should be three inches. You could verify this simply with your laser receiver and your grade stick. If you're grading a dual slope, you'll need to do these steps for both the X and Y axis. You will only need to do it for the access that is sloping if it is a single slope. Once we have our laser transmitter verified, our grade is dialed in. Now you're ready to bench in your machine. Visit the Level Best website and click on the Videos tab. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video informative.